GeoSensus X3 is a professional pulse detector designed to search deep and ignore small surface objects. This is the power on and volume control. Adjustable sensitivity by the ticking sound. Reset key for the ground signal. Rejection of thin, worthless targets. A signal meter reveals target center and depth. Two LEDs discriminate targets as ferrous or non-ferrous. At the backside, the coil and charger connector also headphones and data logger jack. All coils are waterproof. Super Probe can be used inside holes into the excavation for accurate target pinpointing. Select the appropriate coil for your application. Frame coils ignore small surface objects and hunt deeper. The standard 4 meters circumference cable coil has to be mounted on a PVC frame one by one meter square or 128 centimeter diameter round. Optional cable coils are the six meters used in one and a half by one and a half meters square or 198 centimeter round frame. And eight meters cable coil for two by two meters square or 256 centimeters round frame. The loop coils locate small objects and pinpoint accurately, especially in narrow spaces. 36 centimeter and 45 centimeter loops are available with three-piece telescopic pole. Using the super probe to find a metal free spot to adjust the frame coil with the ground.
Remove your metal objects. Secure the connector cable. Position frame at 25 centimeters and motionless. Power on and wait. Once LEDs go out, automatic ground adjust completes. For searching, maintain frame a little higher. If ticking is still audible when coil is raised, calibration is correct. If ticks are lost, press reset with the coil that high from the ground. For special occasions where ticks are lost, hold reset and simultaneously increase audio. Let of reset and raise coil a little higher. Ticking is audible. Now start searching. Objects like gun shells, bottle caps are not detected. Small aluminum foils are ignored. Double beep reveals small surface target. Set reject at four to ignore large foils, ceramics, thin objects without loss of depth for solid objects. Απεράσουμε από το μεσαίο και από το μεγάλο αντικείμενο για να ακούσουμε τη διαφορά στον ήχο. Και μετά θα δούμε πώς μπορούμε να διαχωρίσουμε το είδος του μετάλλου. Μεσαίο μέγεθο. Medium-sized targets produce a loud and sharp signal. A large target gives prolonged and, if buried deep, weaker sound. Make several crossed scans to find the spot with the strongest audio and visual signal. From there, quick sweeps are required to make possible LED identification for the metal type. Green for iron box. Red for copper flask.
Define a large grid at least five sweeps by five points with your target at the center. Select the appropriate sweep direction dependent upon starting position and frame or loop coil used. Set gain at level 2. If manual scan is selected for uneven terrain, the capture key has to be pressed on every step. 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 Select Auto Scan for flat ground where a constant pace is possible. Then input the step's time in seconds. Start. Step. 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 Exit options and connect icon data to the headphones jack. Ensure that GeoSensus is correctly adjusted without interference from the ground before scanning with icon data. Position coil near a large object so that GeoSensus X3 meter shows 100. Check soil data to be around 950. Remove object from coil and soil data should fall to about zero. Now you can commence data logging. Start. Step. The voice prompts to make your next step and turn. Save the file once scan completes. Check target depth in grid view. Check target size and shape in 2D and 3D views.
Real metal targets display high data values in 3D color scale and ground minerals low data. 